Hey everyone, Ari Labs here with the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Armand Nicolet JS9 Diver. This is one of the newer um, dive watches they've, they've made. I think they've made a dive watch before, I believe they have. And the JS9 comes in a variety of different versions, different colors, this steel bracelet as well as a rubber strap option. So what's interesting about this diver, because there are a lot of dive watches on the market. There's gonna, there's, <laughs> there's a lot and there's gonna be more. So the JS9 collection is 44 millimeters wide. I happen to prefer it on this steel bracelet, though I think that the rubber strap is actually a good option for some people. This bracelet I found, even though it has a half link, um, is, is like a little bit too tight or a little bit too loose for me. And so the rubber strap would, would solve that option, but that's really about my anatomy. The case is 44 millimeters wide, about 13 millimeters thick, and it wears smaller because if you can see here, it kind of looks like a little mountain where it's actually more, uh, not as thick here, but towards the center of the crystal, it gets thicker. So it wears, I would say, in a, with a thinner profile than most watches that are 13 millimeters thick. On the bracelet, like I said, it has sort of the more cohesive look, and it has these, I'll call them a, a Big Bang or Royal Oak style lugs, where it's one, one large uh, lug structure here uh, where you have the lugs basically all the way out as far as possible, and then you have this sort of nice curve, which is, is a popular design element. The case is water resistant to 300 meters, being a dive watch, and my favorite part is the dial. Armand Nicolet did a good job, especially with his rose gold and black tone model, where the elements on the dial that are meant to have the most contrast, like the hands, are done in a matte finishing. So you can see here that even with a little bit of light playing with this, the hands and the dial remain really, really legible. And so I think they did a good job with choosing materials. The rotating bezel has a ceramic insert. And among the different models, there's this black bezel, and then there's also a blue one, which is available. There you can see the bezel turning. It's fine. It's a little bit on the on the loose side, but but nothing bad. And I, I like the look of not just having a ceramic bezel, but also having a sloped ceramic bezel, which makes it look a little bit nicer, a little bit of an upgraded look. The movement inside the watch is a little bit of a strange one. And it's the ETA 2846, um, which is an older version of something like the 2824. Well, it's a no longer used version. I didn't really understand why Armand Nicolet chose to use uh, that particular movement. It's an automatic which runs at 3 hertz rather than 4 hertz and has uh, about 48 hours of power reserve. It stopped being made and used a while ago. I can only believe that Armand Nicolet purchased a bunch of movements, which is something they do, um, especially in their OHM collection where they take an older movement and they restore it. And that's a sort of an interesting... Um, flavor on getting a luxury watch. Again, the 2846 may not be my top movement to get. It's fine. Um, I'm just saying it's interesting that they chose that when something like a 2824 or 2892 would have probably been a little bit more uh, the logical option to use for a modern dive watch. Price for the JS9 in this model, again, with the, the, steel, the steel bracelet, steel case, black and rose gold, is 1,700 Swiss francs, so not too bad. Design-wise, you're gonna you're gonna love it, or it's you're not gonna be too into it. I think what Armand Dic Nicolet did best is create a little bit of a different look for a dive watch, but doesn't look like everything else out there. It's still very functional. There's a lot of features that people want in a modern dive watch, and the price isn't too crazy, and it's definitely an exclusive product. So you can see more about the Armand Nicolet JS9 Diver on a blog to watch. Thanks.